Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building another locomotive from India here and we're going to be building this WDM 3A locomotive. And this is what it looks like and you can see it has a high short hood. So let's get right into the build. So as usual we're going to start off with the rear coupler so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block down, we're going to put five polished blackstone brick stairs facing backwards coming across the rails here. Then up here, we're going to put a piston facing this way and one on this side making sure it's facing that way. Then three redstone blocks in the middle and five redstone blocks across the top. Up here, a birch button on either side and then three dark oak fence gates on this top middle. Then on this side of it, a three block tall T-shape, a black stone brick block in the middle. And then on the second layer, we're going to put a torch on either side. On the outer edge, three polished black stone slabs coming up each side for stairs. In front of this, a five by three of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then in front of this, we'll leave an empty block of space, skip one block forward, and put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, another right wheel on each rail, and in the middle, another brick block, another brick slab on the upper hip box, a sideways fence gate, then another brick block, a slab, and a fence gate, and then a block and a slab. Then a fence gate here and here on the end, go back to another right, a wheel here and here, then one here and one here. Then in the gaps between all of the wheels, we're going to put two sideways lightning rods on all four of them. Then we're going to come through and put a hopper on the side of all six of these wheels. Then we can crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all the hoppers. And then same thing on this side here. Then we're going to take deep slate tile stairs and in between the hoppers here we're going to put two stairs facing into each other and we're going to do that on all four of the gaps on both sides here and one more corner to go same thing right here next we're going to take out polished black stone brick block again and we're going to do a line up this top center and we're going to come out one block past this Then, on the side of it up here, we're going to do a full line of dark oak fence gates. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, a full line of dark oak fence gates. Then above these hoppers, we're going to put a line of deep slate tile slabs, and we're going to extend it out so it sticks out one block past the wheel on each end. Then we're going to put a fence gate here and here. Then repeat it on this side, so a line of slabs up here. And we're going to extend it out one block past the wheel on each end. And then we'll take a fence gate and put one here and one here. Next, we'll swing up in front of this here. And on the next block forward in front of this, we need to come on the upper hip box of the first layer and we're going to go three wide with black stone brick slabs and start extending that forward and it's going to be 11 blocks long so a big rectangle that's 3 by 11 then on top of that we'll cover it three wide with polished black stone brick blocks then once that's done we're going to come on bottom in front of this and we're going to put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, another right wheel on each rail. And in the middle, another brick block and another brick slab. Then a fence gate, a block, and a slab. A fence gate, a block, and a slab. 
Then put a fence gate on each end here and here. Then another right wheel here and here. Same thing on this side. And all the gaps between the wheels here, we're gonna put two sideways lightning rod on all four spaces. Then come through and we're gonna put a hopper on the side of all six of the wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Same thing on this side here. Then take deep slate tile stairs and in between the hoppers we're going to put two stairs facing into each other on all four of the spaces here. Same thing on this side two stairs facing into each other on both of these. Then above the hoppers, we're gonna put a line of deep slate tile slabs and extend it out till it sticks out past the wheel on each end. Do the same thing on this side, a row of slabs up here till it sticks out past the wheel on each end here. Then we'll come on top in the middle and do a line of black stone brick block and come out one block past the end of this. And then we'll put a full row of fence gates here and a full row of fence gates on this side. Then we're going to take out skeleton skulls here, one here, one here. Do the same thing on this side, one here and one here. And same thing here, one here and here and one on each end here and here. Then come up here and crouch and put a lightning rod here and here. Same thing on this side. And we'll do the same thing on the front truck. So do a lightning rod here and here, and then here and here. Then we're gonna come in and grab polish deep slate walls. We're gonna come on this fuel tank section and we're gonna put two fence gates on each end of it and a row of polished deep slate walls on the top middle. Do the same thing over here, so two fence gates on each end and a row of polished deep slate walls on the top middle up here. Now we're gonna come in front of this and put a five by three of black stone brick blocks coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the middle and put a torch on either side of the second layer. Then three polished black stone slabs coming up this side, three on this side. In front of this, five black stone brick stairs coming across the bottom. Then we're gonna put a piston on either side and three red stone blocks in the middle. Then up here, turn around and stack up a dark oak stair in the middle for the coupler and put a fence gate under it. On the very top, five redstone blocks. Up here, three fence gates in the middle and a birch button on either side. Then we'll come behind this here. On this top layer, we're gonna go three wide with polished black stone brick block and start bringing that back. And we're gonna bring it all the way down to the other end here. just like that. Then we're gonna come in and grab dark prismarine slabs. And on this top outside edge, we're gonna go end to end up here with dark prismarine slabs. And we'll do the same thing on this side, go end to end over here on the top with dark prismarine slabs. And now the bottom's done, and we'll come back up front here. Now come up here on the third block in, in the middle, we're going to do three blue concrete. Then three blue concrete here, three here. Above it we'll do a layer of white concrete, and another layer of white concrete. Then above that, a layer of blue concrete. Then three blue concrete across the top here and three blue stained glass panes up here. Up here we're going to open a warp fence gate and one behind it. On either side a warp trap door. Then behind this in the middle 
we're going to do a lapis lazuli, cobble deep slate lapis, and a lapis on either side of the middle. Then a dark prismarine slab in these four corners, on the top middle an oak trapdoor, and surround it with warp trapdoors. Then we're going to come on this white concrete and do three rows of two ladders, then two ladders here and here, and three rows of two like this. And then we'll come back on this side here. Now in this corner, we're going to put a blue concrete and a white concrete right here. And then we need to grab a ladder again. And put a ladder right here. Then we're going to take out blue concrete again and come behind this. And we're going to do a row of four blue concrete on this outside edge down here. Then another four. And then up here we're going to do three. A door here. Turn this way and a door right here. And then come over to this side. Start right here. And we're going to do five blue concrete coming back. Then another row of five. Then at the front three blue. Then a door here and a door here. Come back here and put two ladders right there. Then we're going to do two black stained glass panes and a blue concrete. And same thing on this side, two stained glass panes and a concrete. On the top, we're going to put four outward facing andesite stairs. Four on this side. And then we'll go ahead and fill this top with blue concrete here. Just like that. Then we're going to grab a light gray carpet and cover the top of this in light gray carpet. Now come to the rear on the third block in, in the middle, do three blue concrete, then a column of two in the center, two white concrete on either side, then three blue across the top and one on the top middle. Come in front of it in the center here and we'll extend a line of six concrete coming forward up the middle and we're going to raise that up till it's four blocks tall. Then we're going to cover the side of it, four blocks high, with deep slate tile walls here. And we'll do the same thing on this side, cover this whole side four blocks tall, with deep slate tile walls. Then in front of this section, we're going to come up the bottom with a layer of blue concrete until you're at the cap. And then same thing on this side here. Then, above that, we're going to do two layers of white concrete coming up each side until you get up to the cab. And then above that, we'll do another blue concrete in each corner here and here, and a blue concrete in each corner here and here. Then we'll go to deep slate tile walls again at the back. We're going to do three walls on each side. Then we're going to move up to the front corners and do four walls on each side. Then fill this gap between it with blue concrete on each side. And then go ahead and put some concrete in between all the walls here. And same thing for these walls. Then we're going to take out a dark oak sign here, come up on the side, one sign right here, and we're going to match it on this side, so one sign right here. Then we're going to come to the bottom right here, knock out these two and the two on the other side, and we'll put two deep slate tile walls in this gap here, and two on this side. Then take out a mangrove sign up here on this top blue concrete layer and we're going to put a single sign on the side here and on this side. Then we're going to go back to dark oak signs and come under these deep slate tile walls, put two signs here, skip a block and two signs. Same thing on this side, two signs here, skip a block, two signs. Now come on top of the back in the middle, do two blue concrete back here then a wall, 
I'm gonna put a blue concrete on either side of the wall. And then in front of it, we're gonna do a full line of blue concrete up the top middle and bring it all the way forward until it meets up on the front with the back of the cab here. Then we'll come back here and we're gonna put four warp trap doors around this and an oak trap door in the middle. Then take out a daylight sensor here for the exhaust and we're gonna come on this top middle up here and we're gonna put a single daylight sensor right here. Then take dark prismarine stairs, three here, and then a full row of stairs up on here and bring that all the way up to the cab. And we'll do the same thing on this side, a full row of stairs right here. And then three stairs right here. Now come on top and everywhere we haven't built something in the middle, we're gonna cover it with blue carpet right up to the cab. Then we're gonna come up on the front porch area with dark prismarine slabs. One here and here, and on the front of each one a glow item frame with a frog light. Then take another brick fence. Right here, we're gonna come up four, then over one, and two on top. Repeat it on this side. So right here, we're gonna come up four, over one, two on top. Here, we'll come up four, and then we'll bring it back until it connects with the cab. Then we'll come to this side. Right here, we're gonna come up four. Then we're gonna come back two, up two, and back one. Then we're gonna take out a dark oak fence gate on the middle of these walls right here. Put a fence gate here. Then on either side of it, we're gonna do a column of three nether brick fences. Then up here, we're gonna put one here and one here. Then we'll repeat it on the other side. So on the middle of this, we put a fence gate, three nether brick fences on either side, one here, one here. Then we'll come to the back. Right here, we're gonna come up four. Then we're gonna go over by three and then down by one. So over one, two, three, and down one. Then back here, we'll do the same thing on this side. Up four, then forward three, and then down one. Then here, we're gonna put a dark prismarine slab here and here, and a glow item frame on each of them with frog lights. Then go back to our fences here, we're gonna come up four over one, two up here. And here, we'll come up four over one and two up here. Then up here, we're gonna do a warp sign in the middle and we're gonna type ABR, hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Above it, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then on the side of that, we'll do another warp sign and we'll type 16787R. Then same thing on the other side here. And then we're gonna hit both of those with orange dye and then a glow ink sack each. Then we'll come up front here. On the middle top of the front, we'll do a glow item frame with a frog light. Then under that, we're gonna do a warp sign and we're gonna type A, B, R, hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then up here next to the frog light, a warp sign, and we're gonna type WDM3A. Same thing on this side. Hit both of those with orange dye and a glow ink sack each. Then we'll come under the windows on the side here, and we're gonna put a two by two of acacia signs under the window. So two rows of two signs. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So come under the window over here, and two rows of two signs. Now we need to make a banner. So come into a lube with a black banner and white dye. Put a border on it, then make the bottom half blue. These are for the cab windows. So we're gonna come up here, put one here, 
then we gotta do the other side. So come around back here and put one right here. Then we're gonna come down on the ground and crouch and we're gonna put two blue banners over this door to hide it from the side view here. And then we have to do the same thing on the other side here. So we'll come around here and we'll crouch and we'll put two blue banners over that door to hide it. Then take another brick fence right here. We're gonna come up to your right here and forward by one. Then we'll do right here. We're gonna come back four and down one like that. Then we're gonna come inside. So come inside here, put some frog lights down there for hidden lighting, and we'll cover this floor in three wide with smooth stone slabs. Then we'll put two blast furnaces on the middle of each end. And then in front of this door right here, we're gonna put an upside down polished deep slate stair. Then a dark oak stair going this way and on this a lever. Then over here, an upside down polished deep slate stair here and an oak, dark oak stair there and a lever here. There's two control stands going opposite ways in this one. And now the interior is done here. Then I forgot a detail on the front trucks here. So we're going to take out Darko Penske, come down here, put one here and one here. Then we have to do it on the other side as well. So we'll come over here and put one here and one here. Then I'm not liking how we can't have a ladder up here. So I'm going to grab another brick fence and a blue concrete. We're going to come down here, take out this fence, and put it right here. Then we'll take this ladder off and add a blue concrete here so it's just steps to get up to that door. Then we'll put two light gray carpet here, a T-shape on the nose, and a row of light gray carpet across here. Then we'll come behind the cab right here and do a full line of light gray carpet coming down this walkway. And then on this back porch, a T-shape right here. And then we'll do a full line of light gray carpet all the way down the walkway on this side of the locomotive here. Just like that. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Indian Railways WDM 3A locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.